Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video, doing the extended European outlook for today's second video. So after being away for a couple of weeks, it's back today after Christmas and New Year. And uh, I'm going to get through your 30 day slash 42 day extended European outlook in a moment. Just say about the first video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. And we've also got a 10 to 14 day on the way later on today as well. Please like, share and subscribe on all today's videos and content. And thank you so, so everyone for doing that. For Gav's weather this thank you so much everyone uh right gonna start off you'll notice i'm a bit croaky recording this so uh, hopefully the voice holds out just bear with me and we'll get free together you'll get free with me won't you <laughs> right gonna start off with week one mean cell pressure anomaly taking us through uh this week which is the 6th to the 13th of january so a blocking area of high pressure is sitting around Greenland and Iceland with a trough of low pressure through the uh, west of Europe. That brings cold air down into the northwest of Europe. At the same time, there's a ridge over in the east that should be bringing up milder air through eastern and southeastern parts of Europe. 500 millibar height anomaly from the Arctic and North Pole view down shows this up very nicely. High pressure in the Atlantic up to Greenland and Iceland. Trough of low pressure through the northwest of Europe. And then a ridge here in the south and the east of Europe, the uh, wind flow and jet stream doing something uh, a bit like that. Right, so the temperature anomaly is colder than average in the north and the west of Europe. So we've got Ireland, the UK, the far north of France, into the low countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, uh, Germany, and then up to Scandinavia and Nordic regions, including Denmark, Norway, Sweden, and much of Finland, coming out colder than normal. That's the exception to the rule. Most parts of Europe are actually milder than average. So much of France, Spain, Portugal, seeing temperatures around 3 to 6 degrees above average. The bulk of the Mediterranean also looking uh, mild right the way from the west through to the east. Uh, again, temperatures around 3 to 6 degrees above average. And then the eastern side of Europe, anywhere from Poland, right way over southwest Russia and Ukraine, along with the northern Black Sea, with temperature of around 6 to 10 degrees above average. Really mild in the far north and at west of Europe, significantly above average temperatures there. And as far as precipitation goes, uh, we look like this. So it's wetter than average or above average precipitation um, from the west through to the east. So uh, we've got northern Spain and Portugal and much of France can be out uh, wetter than normal. Large portions of Germany also wetter than average, extending over to Poland and up to the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania as well. Uh, southern uh, Sweden and down to Denmark, also the far south of Norway, wet to the normal free bed. Well, that's going to be snow, of course, or all of it will be snow. Um, driving out to northern Finland and uh, much of Norway, and also we've got uh, Scotland and Ireland coming out uh, drier than normal, although England and Wales. Uh, on the wetter side. Uh, to the south of the Black Sea, again, driving an average shoe there. So not looking too bad, for example, for Greece and Turkey, uh, with above average temperatures and driving an average condition. If you want a little bit of winter sunshine, I'd get on a plane and go to Greece. Well, week two, if you can. Um, not many people can just do that, though, can they? Week two will be the 13th to the 20th of January. So a big area of high pressure taking over here uh, across Europe central and also western regions. Layer pressure perhaps in the far north east could bring something a bit colder into the extreme northeastern uh, corner of Europe. 500 millibar height anomalies, again with a large area of high pressure dominating through the west of Europe, but low pressure is away up here along with a bit of a west or a northwesterly flow. What's the temperature anomaly doing? Oh, <laughs> that's a change, isn't it? So, okay, but what's that? What's he doing there? Ooh. Oh, boy, that's my throat. Um, right, so, uh, dry, uh, a woman, I should say, mild average in the northwest, where it's coldest this week, it's mildest next week. 
big old flip around that. So uh, we've got uh, Norway, for example, coming out around 6 to 10 degrees above average or the southwest of Norway, anyway. Uh, Ireland, Scotland, around 3 to 6 degrees above average. It's just generally a mild and average uh, across much of northern Europe. The colder temperature anomalies are shifted down into the southeastern corner. So Italy over the Asiatic into the Balkans, that meant down to uh, Greece, the Greek islands, uh, it's a little bit cold and average there. Spain, Portugal still seem to temperature only holding up. France close to average, otherwise most other areas milder than normal. And so precipitation is concerned, but where we've got that high pressure, it really is very dry across uh, much of Western Europe. So that including the UK and Ireland, France, the low countries and also Spain and Portugal probably getting to Germany, just up to Denmark and southern parts of uh, Sweden. Uh, to the north of that, generally wetter than normal conditions, along with like a southwesterly flow, moisture laden, bring heavy rain and snow, of course, in mountainous areas into uh, Norway. And uh, then we've got uh, the east of Europe again. Uh, looking a little bit more unsettled, and maybe we get some snow in this uh, southeastern corner away from the Mediterranean. Week three will be the 20th to 27th of January. High pressure goes on, dominating through uh, many, many parts of Europe. Lower pressure to appear along with more of a westerly flow. 500 millibar heights look like that, above average heights again through the west of Europe, lower pressure is up here along with the jet stream doing something a little bit like that. Temperature anomalies in preferred wink, just largely above average, we have to go to Greece. And Turkey to find anything that looks a little bit cooler and the eastern portion of the Black Sea. Otherwise, it's above average temperatures widely from the far north to the far south. And again, the core of the uh, mild temperatures actually into uh, Norway and Sweden, where we see the anomaly about three to six degrees above average. Precipitation wise, uh, largely dry but normal in many areas, just looks a little bit more unsettled up here and possibly through there, but otherwise it's a dry and myosine under that area of high pressure. Week 4 will be the 27th of January to the 3rd of February. So this week finding, uh, oh, let's change the colour back. Ba, 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 ba. There you go. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Low pressure is uh, up here and got high pressure through there. And we bring the wind in still from the west, looking pretty mild as we go into February. Um, 500 millibar heights again. Plenty of high pressure through there and through there. Low pressure out there and maintaining an Atlantic flow. Temperature it should be mild. Yes, they are in most areas. We do see, but it's cold around Greenland and Iceland and down towards Greece and Turkey. Otherwise, above average temperatures are dominating. A baby side to go a little bit more unsettled in the far north of Europe into uh, Ireland, Scotland and Norway. Above average precipitation, but otherwise pretty dry under that area of high pressure. Right, that's your 30 day look ahead. Let's do, go for weeks 5 and 6 both before we go. So week 5 will be the 3rd to the 10th of February. And uh, very much in an Atlantic driven uh, pattern here. Low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. Winds coming in from the west and from the southwest. The 500 millibar height anomaly showing that up very nice as well. Above average temperatures in most areas. And uh, wettest in the far north and northwest. And then week six will be the 10th, 17th of February. Flat as a pancake. Uh, low pressure up here, high pressure down there. Winds coming in from a westerly point of view. So um, uh, 500 millibar heights, back that up as well. Low pressure around green ice and high pressure around Spain. Um, uh, much milder than average in all areas, really. And wettest again in the north and the west. We could be in for a very mild but also wet February here, if that's right. Long way off. Before that, though, January, you know, it's cold at the moment in the northwest. Looks like that's on its last legs. And uh, we're going to be turning much milder next week. And then, if this is right, those mild conditions are in for pretty much the remainder of the tropical winter. 
we'll see. Maybe it's just a snapshot of what these uh, this model is showing today. So uh, these uh, models are prone to chopping and changing. Any four cards on five, seven days. Their four comes with big health warnings and large pinches of soul attached. We're going to be back later on with uh, the 10 to 14 days. So come back for that shortly for the 30-day uh, extended European outlook, the first one of the year. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.